Woes have fallen and families have been sent in the court. The heavy rains experienced on Sunday afternoon left several families in Lusaka's Berlin compound in a state of shock and trauma. More than 80 houses had their roofs blown off. The unfortunate thing is that a 40-year-old woman, Fadless Banda, lost her life after a tree collapsed on a house in which she was. The sad news forced President Edgar Lungu to take a visit to the area just to understand the extent of damage caused to property in this part of Lusaka. Mr. Lungu draws lessons from this experience and calls for certain measures to be taken by the Disaster Management and Mitigation Unit. Time to reflect on where we are. One, you can see that the standard of the buildings in this community are not equal to the challenges of the vagaries of the weather. When the weather gets extreme, it's difficult to imagine how comfortable the people can be. But when it gets extreme to a point of uh, too much wind like was yesterday, what happened? Two, we need to begin regularly checking by way of uh, maintenance checks on the structures that we are building. You saw at the ZNBC the fact that uh, the roofs were meant to last 20 years, but they've lived for 30 years. So it's inevitable that a disaster like that could happen. And going forward, I think uh, disaster management should be proactive. They shouldn't wait until a disaster like this happens. How many people have died? So far, we've had one confirmation, but uh, we have to wait for the police to give us uh, progressive reports as we go. There's so much speculation, and we don't want to depend on speculation. It's time to be compassionate, it's time to reflect, like I've said, and time to mourn together and think through the problems we are, we are encountering. Instead of politicizing, I just pray that uh, no one will politicize this tragedy. The Zambia National Broadcasting Corporation, ZMBC staff houses, were also affected, with several houses having their roofs blown off. But this has been attributed to the expiry of the lifespan of the said houses whose roofs were supposed to be replaced 10 years ago. The unit is uh, two, which has been set aside and specifically designed to react to such things like this. And I'm sure they will react, but if they've got challenges, they will let us know as government. They've already tipped us that for the future we need to learn to ensure in some of these tragedies, and even at the household level, we need to have insurance and so on. But they will assess the situation and they will give us a comprehensive picture as we move forward. It's not time for speculation, like I've said, it's time to reflect on the truth as it hits us. The Tabernacle of Science and Wonders Church was also affected, and Reverend Ephraim Kambanji says this has not shaken the church, and that the same God that allowed for the construction of the building will help them rebuild it. We are hit with the heavy rains yesterday that we were able to rip off the, rip, the, the roof. So this is where we find ourselves in this state. But uh, with God all things are possible. It has happened. We thank God that there were no lives that were lost. So to God be the glory. And in every situation the Bible says we give him thanks. So we are giving him thanks. We are not moved at all. But we are looking forward to God, the same God that was able to make us build this church within three months. It's the same God that will enable us to rebuild. For now, an assessment to understand the extent of damage is underway and all those affected have been advised to lodge in complaints with the police in Bowling Compound before the Disaster Management and Mitigation Unit can come on board and try and assist the affected families. Mwak Pekumwenda, Movie TV News, Lusaka.